a team of specialized scuba divers is ready to directly document the life and habits of the coldest fish in the world in their mysterious kingdom. On the hole is a container, which functions as a shelter against the gusts of wind. The scuba divers disappear down the hole. The descent down the ice tunnel lasts only a few seconds, but when the divers reach the other end of the hole, the show which awaits them is unexpected and simply magnificent. The harshness and uniformity of the external environment have given room to a surreal world painted in pastels. It seems like you're flying over real-life ice gardens. On the bottom, the submerged rocks are so frozen that the seawater freezes immediately upon contact, forming delicate constructions of slivers and needles of ice, called anchor ice. dark polar winter has now given way to the Antarctic summer. Swarms of fish larvae and other invertebrates give proof to the seasonal explosion of life. Giant jellyfish are another example of the floating frequenters of this unique environment. But finally, here are the first fish. For the most part, they are calm, so close to the bottom. A few even allow the divers to caress them. Some seem very patient as they wait impassively for their prey. Others show themselves to be scrupulous parents, especially when defending their rocky nests covered in eggs. These animals are different from all the other fish on the planet. They are, in fact, the true survivors of a very long story of change, which started almost 200 million years ago. The scuba divers return to the surface with the precious images of the seabeds of the Ross Sea at 75 degrees latitude south. For the past few years, Dr. Pisano and her colleagues have focused on one species in particular. The samples which she took from the ice are in fact silverfish eggs, a very particular fish. The amazing thing is that millions of little eggs laid in full winter develop amidst a sort of crushed ice composed of platelet ice. And in this period, as in every spring, millions and millions of little silverfish are born in the marine ice to repopulate the ocean. ecological discovery of great interest to the knowledge of Antarctic ecosystems was made in this vast inlet of the northern Ross Sea, near the Italian station. So now, the bay is included in a special protected area. This baia is called Silverfish Bay. 
perché in questa zona per la prima volta è stata trovata un'area di riproduzione del silverfish che è la specie chiave su cui stiamo lavorando ok, sì sì sì, sì, sì. una grande quantità di uova eccole qua The samples collected during this trip will allow them to open new chapters of knowledge on Antarctic fish 